Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I hope you're all doing really well today. Banggood have been very kind and have sent in another 6686 TEF radio to look at. Do you remember a few weeks ago we looked at this Sparkilec DP666? Quite like this radio, but well, this is very, very similar. Whereas this was a landscape or orientation, this is a portrait orientation. This one is called the Sparkilec. DP666. So yeah, very much a similar radio. They've got two, two different colours sent in. There's also a black version that I haven't got here to show you today. This is the, of the yellowy kind of green version and the one I prefer, which is the silver white version. You can customise the display colours, which I've done here. Um, that This is my probably favourite out of the two. It's also a black radio as well, if you don't like these two colours. So once again, this is a TEF 6686 chip. We don't get any sideband, unfortunately, with the TEF chip. I know a few of you are saying, is that going to be happening soon? I don't think so. But what we do get is that very, very sensitive FM performance. Nothing touches these TEF chips when it comes down to FM performance. And shortwave broadcast is also pretty good. And I think longwave will be quite good as well. So as we've got two radios, I think what we'll do, we'll have a closer look at this uh, yellowy green one here, and then we'll take the silver one outside and do some on-air testing. So stay tuned. If you don't want to watch the review and you just want to go straight to check out these radios, there are links in the description. I do get a discount code as well, so make sure that you use that if you decide to purchase one of these radios. But anyway, too much talking. Let's get on the bench and have a look at the finer details of this TEF radio. First thing I'll say is this radio is cheaper than the Deep Elec version. Full price is £52 on Banggood. Currently, as I'm making this, it's in the sale, and you can get about £7 off that before you hit my discount. So it does make it probably about £10 cheaper than the other model. Let's see what we get in the box, because I think this is becoming uh, important. Basic USB-C lead, no problem there. Do get a little stylus. May have got one on the last one, actually. I might, I might have lost it, I'm terrible. We do get a stylus. But what I like about this radio is you do get a donut antenna as well as, we'll get to that in a second, as well as a telescopic antenna. Now these are becoming more and more popular with these radios. Personally, what I've found with these, not perhaps so good on shortwave or FM, but they work really, really nicely on medium wave. Also long wave, because they're directional, because you've got these arrows and you can turn them, it does reject a lot of noise. So yeah, good on medium wave, good on long wave. We get a rather nice little carry bag. C carry bag, did I say curry bag? <laughs> it's not a takeaway, carry bag. Oh, it's just getting old. That's quite nice actually. And then we get a rather nice telescopic antenna. And the same as the other radio, exactly the same. We do have, which I think we have a locking ring. Okay, now that's fixed. Oh, okay, I thought that was a locking ring. But that is actually fixed. Oh, that's a shame. So it's just relying on just the threads to lock it. Oh, it's a pity. As I say, that I did prefer the uh, the other antenna, which you could lock down. That one, obviously not. So, but it's still a nice antenna. Uh, lengthwise, yeah, seventy or eighty centimeters. Pity that doesn't lock though. Let's have a look at the radio itself. So we are getting used to these radios now. Quite a nice large 2.8 inch LCD screen, 320 by 240. Is capacitive touch, of course. Same as before on the radio, uh, different menu systems, main menu system here. And like before, it is so configurable. You know, you can go in and uh, change different things. I had to change the rotary controls. When it arrived, the rotary controls were working in reverse, but it's very easy to change them. So yeah, it's a bit of a kind of tinkerer's dream really i mean there's so much you can change on this radio quite remarkable there should be a second setting as well if i click down here yeah we can change that i think we can switch that on uh direct frequency input of course using the numerical keypad or straight onto the screen and there should be another yeah and there's this setting as well here so we can change the modes and uh, also again we can enter the frequencies. 
does include the air band there if you want to use it. Radio itself, very similar to the previous radio, numerical keypad, keypad uh, bandwidth control, very nice to see that. Mode control, which is really at this, is just controlling the way the radio scans, manual, auto, and then memory, and then your band select. Uh, of course, being a, a TEF radio, it's going to be um, FM. We're automatically scanning and it's adding these to memories. I, I don't know why we've done that, but it's, it's doing that. If I can stop that for a second. Uh, long wave, of course, manual tuning. I can only get one station on long wave now, and I think that's going to be doomed to fail. I won't get it up here in the shack, I wouldn't have thought. Too much interference. We'll get that when we go outside. And then your, your medium wave, and then finally uh, short wave. Air band, you have to go into the menu system to operate that. Now, the short wave is 1700 to 27 megs. As always, I wish it extended up to, say, 28 megs, and then you could at least get the CB part on short wave. And as always, being a TEF based radio, you've not got SSB upper and lower sideband. I know for a lot of you that's a deciding factor, but it makes up for it really with its FM performance, which is exceptionally good. Quick look around the radio itself. Other than the strange choice of colour, the case is just a plastic case. Now, I'm going to have a couple of little digs at it here. It does feel in my opinion, a very brittle plastic. And for some reason, they've got these, um, well, bits sticking out, if you like, Ex exclusions, or what you want to call them. Can you see that on the top there? Um, it does, they're not really sticking out enough to protect the tuning pots there. But I feel that if you were to drop this, I think they would snap off, ruin the, ruining the overall effect of the radio. Again, the corners on the radio, it's going to be very fragile, in my opinion. I'm not going to break it on purpose. And again, we've, we've got the same sort of construction as the previous radio. We've got these little slots here. So it's like one of those um, laser cut plastic kits that you would put together. Held together with some rather nice stainless steel little bolts, I suppose. On this side, as before, we've got the main on off switch and then we've got a power standby switch and there's the headphone socket. There's nothing on the bottom of the radio, which is quite good because you can just stand it up on the base. I mean, in a way, maybe I prefer this uh, upright uh, layout of the radio. USB-C charging at one amp, charge light and uh, function light, reboot switch. And then once again, the squelch, if you're gonna use it, is on the side there, which means that when we get to the pots, do prefer this. We have the volume and the tuning, as you would expect. Very, very nice, I'm going to say, very solid uh, aluminium or aluminium knurled pots there. Feels very nice to use. They haven't skimped and put plastic pots on it. And then the, an the an an SMA antenna screws in there without the locking ring. But it does feel, does feel quite firm. So yeah, overall, a very nicely laid out radio, other than the choice of colour. And maybe it could do a little bit of protection around the sides. Tell us about when the first contact with the police came. I think that one of my friends told a group of our friends that something happened to our mate at a house party. So we've gone to the house party, yeah. beating everyone up, but we all got in trouble. Go kick, and it's England nil, same one. No, it was just great combination play this time from, from England on that far side from Lauren Head. That's where they're going to threaten. Sounds like Ojo time. Play Ojo? Great idea. Feel the fun with play the landline provider they will help make sure alarms keep working through the switch over and to find out more you can visit www.digitalphoneswitchover.com
Kutbaşkası'nın karanlık yönlerine dair çok katmanlı bir felsefe eleştirisine. Украшали бронзовые скульптуры 12 китайских зодиакальных животных. Они были не только... There we go then. That is the Sparkelec DP666, a TEF6686. <laughs> so many sixes radio. What do I think? Well, I think I prefer this vertical design, to be perfectly honest. Now I've been using the radio for a few days. I also think the speaker, maybe because it's at the bottom, or it might be a slightly better quality than the deep elect. I do think the speaker is slightly better. It's a little bit more bassy, I do think. Very nice and very nice and clear. Um, as always, this is going to be a enthusiast's radio. It's not really mainstream. I mean, there's so much customization when you go into the menu system, even just changing the uh, display, all the different colors. Quite like that myself. Did have just a couple of strange issues with both radios, to be honest. The, um, the yellow one de developed a bit of a sound issue. Sometimes the sound come and went, you had to switch it off, switch it back on again. And then the white one, every now and then, you just had to switch it on and off a couple of times before it decided to boot. And once it booted, it's absolutely fine. So it might be something, it, it might be nothing. But overall, Thought it worked really, really well. Picked up uh, short wave pretty decently. Picked up long wave as well, which is um, only one station left now, but did that quite well. And of course, these radios absolutely excel on FM. I, I get so many different uh, FM stations just using the whip antenna that I don't hear on any other radio. So there it is. These came in from Banggood, so thank you very much for them. As I say, it's about 10 to 15% cheaper than that Deepalek version that we looked at, and that's always good. Plus, there will be a discount code in the description. So if you do decide to purchase one of these, make sure to use my link and the discount code. Save yourself a few quid, and that's always a good thing. But that's it, the end of the video. I'd just like to say thank you. For tuning in to Fred in the Shed. I do appreciate your you dropping by. I do appreciate your view time. Uh, please, please, please look after each other for me. Stay safe, of course. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Fred's in the shed where the magic unfolds. Fred in the shed with his trusty CB. He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.